have to tell you something, little Hades. My relatives and I, we've been holding back one of our greatest gifts to see if you were worthy. And you are. My aid is yours. So call me if you need anything, especially to smash your enemies to bits. Oh, what's this? and at my beck and call. More witches. You're nothing. Must be the fountain chamber I commissioned back at home. Oh, no way, Zag. Looking like you got yourself a gift from old Poseidon there. He's quite the catch, but here, hope you save some room for more.
last giant evil crystal then. Oh, nephew, you've stood against the bull of Minos, have you? Well, I must apologize for any inconvenience there, because he was a living testament to my revenge. Long story, boring really, rather sordid too. Safe. Let's make some waves, right, Uncle? Damned lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest Tartarus, where they fuse together with the Earth itself into odious forms which defy description. They basically turn into big crystals. in the world this time. Your Highness. Hey, Princess. Must look like I'm slacking off with the old boulder here, but I was just getting back on my feet. The Fury Sisters don't often leave me. Oh, you know, just out on a little stroll is all. Do me a favor, though. You see... Oh, I'll let them know, all right. I hear you loud and clear, Your Highness. Not to worry. Cheers, mate. Break all the pots you like. So long for now.
for back home. Charon's shop. Glad you like it, mate. Thank you for helping me out with your supply, even if you fleece me with those prices. Hey, Charon, if there happens to be something really horrible awaiting me beyond that door, then give me a sign, won't you? Great. Hades ought to lock you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job. I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibilities. Hades, my regards. Ah, oh, cheers for that, Meg. <coughs> Surprise, Hypnos. I got you this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't bring that in here. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks. But wait, I'll trade you. Look! Cheers, Hypnos. Oh, wow! So Megara herself got you last time. That must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful. And, um, anyway, I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. Yeah, I hope so, too. Will, will, will. Hey, uh, Father, I thought maybe, you know, uh, here. Word 
Don't you get this? You think you can butter me up with such trifles? Give me that, and then get out of here. You're welcome, Father. <clears throat> Happen to know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles? I'm sure I wouldn't, lad. Though if I happen to run into them, I'll let them know. Let's make it happen. I'll have to keep an eye out for this next time out there. Here. I trust that the mirror in your bedchamber has proved satisfactory, dear child? Better than I could have possibly imagined, Nix. You mentioned there was something more that it could do once I had grown accustomed. I think I'm ready for that now. I think you are as well. Then it shall be as you wish. Thank you. Let's see here. Don't have enough nectar for this. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. This is not here. Go lie down. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house as Wilful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his Lord Father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades. I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... but Father always said that Nyx was... M 
That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Yeah, thus did the prince discover inadvertently the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. You... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me? Can't sleep. What do the three fates have in mind? The mirror has grown in power. Thank you, Nix. Other side. Looking good. Little tip, boyo. You find any coinage while you're out there, you'll be sure to pawn it off to that old Kiron. Boatman guy, use it or lose it, pal. Use it or lose it. Thanks, mate. Note to self, always spend everything I earn instead of ever saving. Baratha hungers. That one, huh? What's that one do? Should help. Is 
your only family. Death and I. Best get accustomed to the both of us. No, not on your life. Lord Ares. You are the son of Night herself, they say. A fascinating character, ill-liked upon Olympus, although I myself have always longed to meet her. Kill or be killed. looking portal on the ground right there over there so all I need to do is sacrifice some of my life essence to go in here I ah, don't see why not who or what is that this is not someone I recognize. So, in the name of Hades. Um, hello. May I ask who's calling? Um, have we met? Oh, we have met in a way. I know everybody here and there. You wish to leave this place? And it is my wish to make your doing so a little bit more interesting. And if you encounter the Olympians someday, do give them my regards. to extract the benefits of few chambers from now. Come on. Please accept this offering for giving me such strength as necessary to succeed. You are a flatterer, my death-inflicting kin. And I am feeling generous as well, so here, a small token for you of my affection. You have my thanks, Lord Ares. Olympus, I accept this message.
Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time, and Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Strength of the Goddess. Is not going to like this. You honor me. Your course of action here was ill advised, my kin. For war shall come to you no matter what as I shall presently reveal. Don't kill me, Ares. Pleased to witness such a monstrous show of force.
delicious. I'm back, Meg. <laughs> Listen to me, Zagreus. Your mother is long gone. You're never getting out of here, and even if you did, what hope could you possibly have in finding her up in the world out there? I've hope enough. Not that it's any of your business anymore. Your family is here, and so is your responsibility. You're running from yourself. Though, I can slow you down a bit, I think. So Zagreus. some sort of power, but for what? Well, father. Sold. Up we go then. In the bag. Made it to Asphodel. Here for you should make your battles to the death end that much quicker. Faster than ever.
is set. I'm at the docks. Care to provide me any insight as to just what sort of hideous monstrosity awaits me over on the next infernal island, Charon mate? That bad, huh? Should come in useful. One of my boons got stronger. giant gorgon head. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Um, Mr. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades, like you were supposed to? Oh, um, that's no problem. I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good, then. Glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Grown any wiser yet? You call my chambers a mess? Look at your desk, father. Whatever happened to your court musician, huh? Where's his sentencing parchment work? Stuck in Tartarus all because he stopped singing for you on command. My desk is far more organized than you, boy. And if you're so concerned about our court musician, why don't you commute a sentence yourself? Seeing as I haven't gotten around to it yet. Sure, happy to oblige. I'll just ask the house contractor since you're too busy. Contractor, mind locating the court musician's sentence when you get the chance? Achilles, did you ever used to pray to the gods? Make offerings to them and such back when you were alive? I prayed mostly to my mother, lad. I always had my doubts the gods were listening, that they could even hear. Though I suppose that if you make an offering, they might be so inclined, just for the moment anyway. They're helping much. They're helping definitely, sir. There we go. In the name of Hades, I commute our court musician sentencing effective now. Oh, um, hello. Ah, Orpheus. Oh, hello, Zagreus. I understand you liberated me from my eternal punishment. And so I have returned to serve your father here. Thanks. Orpheus, you're back. Look, don't get on father's bad side like that and you're going to be fine. Besides, right now I think he's angry with me. I grieve for you, my friend. But if you've come to ask me for a song, why? I'm afraid I must stand firm about my answer. It's all right. Father can't make you sing if you don't want to. Nix, sometimes I get the impression the Olympians look down on those of us born of the underworld. Is that my imagination, or what do you make of it? 
The gods of Mount Olympus tend to think themselves above us, child. Or so your father often likes to say. He alone was relegated to this realm and grew resentful of his relatives on high. I can't imagine him otherwise. Hey, uh, what's that you're drinking, Meg? Anything good? Whatever it is, it's weak. Enough to be mistaken for your blood. Nice. Well, I'll just leave you to it then. Leave me alone. Greetings, Chef. The ancient casks of wine hidden within the recesses of the House of Lord Hades. Few have tasted the intoxicating vintage they contain, and fewer still are permitted to anywhere near their vicinity. Still waiting for the festive occasion when we'll open one of these. Anything good? What's new? The fate abetting prince perhaps believes it was through his own choice that he procured the fated list of minor prophecies, but it was preordained. Oh no, not this determinism thing again. Scratch one off the fated list. Tartarus is gloomy enough without Orpheus in it. Give me the current special. It's a deal. Let's go with this assignment, Contractor. My father surely would approve. You've no authority in my domain. On my authority, I'd like it if you did this job for me. Is that all right? Whatever are you going on about? I think we'll go with this. Should make a nice enough addition to my chambers. What did you purchase now? How's it going? <sighs> How about we put this there? 
A beautifully decorated, subtly enchanted ball containing traces of the hapless prince's past attempts to flee the underworld now accents a particularly cluttered corner of his room. Always wanted my own scrying pool. Just need to keep at it. I'm wide awake. This one then. Been here the whole time. Gotta say, you're really getting somewhere, boy. Oh, I'm pretty impressed here. And they don't even pay me to do that. I'm just supposed to stand around. Appreciate the vote of confidence, mate. Maybe you're right, and someday I'll get out of here. Hey, if I never come back, you won't just be stuck here forever, will you? <laughs> That's a good one. No, probably not. Wasn't anything in the old contract about that. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. Aegis, shield of chaos. Lend me your power. Time to give that thing some work, I guess. to the old collection. Go with that one. 